Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Subraj. I am a data scientist and RPA expert. You will see a few sessions on Python programming. Right now, Python is one of the rocking programming languages and scripting languages in the IT industry. Why Python is that much demand? The reason behind that and some of the technologies are leading in the industry. Almost all, all the technologies purpose we are using Python as a main component. So before we are going to enter into Python environment, what is scripting? Why scripting? Who developed actually the scripting concept? We need to understand. Script is nothing but lightweight programming, loosely typed programming, weakly typed programming. These are the three definitions providing a perfect view for a scripting. In software environment, these scripts uses drastically increased when web environment uses increased in the market. That means web is the main reason the demand of the scripting languages. So, Python also same like that. But whenever we are thinking about the scripting, how many types of scripts existed? Scripts where we are using? Actually, scripts are classified into two types. One is client side scripting. Second one is server side scripting. What is the meaning of client script? A script which is running within the web browser is called client side scripting. Example, live script, JavaScript, actually JavaScript original name is a live script developed by Netscape Corporation. VB script, structure purpose HTML, style sheet means colorful purpose CSS. All these are comes under client side scripts. Second category server side scripting. Server side scripts are nothing but a script which is executing within the web server like IIS, Tomcat, Apache, Glassfish, WebSphere, etc. So these are comes under server side scripts. ASP you can take. It is required IIS. JSP you can take. It required Tomcat. Maybe other web servers. Python you can take some other servers like Jigsaw, HTTP. Like that, every server side scripting required a specific web server. So we can view difference between scripting and programming languages. So, I said who developed actually scripting concept one question also. This is initially developed by Netscape Corporation with the name of live script. So, there are the various differences existed between scripting and programming languages. So, mainly I provided just three, three points. All scripts are interpreter based, but programming languages are compiler based or interpreter based or compiler and interpreter based. Come to the next point. In scripting, variable declaration is completely implicit. Implicit means dynamic declaration. Externally, programmer no need to declare int, float, char, string, double like this. This is called implicit variable declaration. All scripts are implicit variable declaration. Same if you come to programming languages, all programming languages are explicit variable declaration. Explicit means externally we need to declare. So, this is the most important environment because if you are not declaring a specific data type, it is giving error. And third point is we can easily integrate scripts with other programming languages like for example javascript you can take it can able to integrate with anyone any technology 
like python you can take yes flexible but programming languages are not like that a programming language unable to integrate with another programming languages except a few examples but scripting any example any scenario you can take script always perfect easily we can integrate with that so these are the three main differences between scripting and programming languages so before i am going to python python definitions let me explain what are the programming paradigms in software environment programming languages patterns are classified into mainly two types here paradigm meaning is pattern pattern is nothing but model what are the these two patterns number one imperative paradigm second one is the declarative paradigm so imperative paradigm mainly two types so object oriented is one type and procedural is one type and if you come to declarative again two types so for example if you are observing that declarative paradigm lisp is very popular that is we are calling generally functional programming paradigm second one is logical oriented prolog programming logic so why suddenly i am providing these paradigms meaning these are patterns meaning because i want to define my python definition that is a reason actually i defined these definitions so what is a python a simple definition as per the python.org so it's very easy definition is python easy to learn simple and powerful programming language but as per my observation my uses of python in the project level i found different kind of paradigms in this python that is the reason python is multi paradigm scripting and programming language developed by gudio van rossum multi paradigm meaning already explained to you very clearly shown then many people are thinking about why python name yes python is a programming or scripting name Gudio Van Rissum is a Dutch scientist, Dutch programmer. He has taken that name from a TV comedy show. It is called Monty Python Flying Circus. So it is not at all related to any snake family. It is just one TV comedy show name. He has, he has taken from there. The name is Monty Python Flying Circus. Thank you for watching my videos. For more video sessions, please subscribe. नरेश हेटी चैनल